Miss Arts here. And Miss Brantley. And we're bringing you a very special message. Well, September 15th is known to art teachers everywhere as International Dot Day. Every year, children all across the country are creating and displaying their dots. There are even a few other elementary schools in CFB creating their dots right now. Your challenge this week is to create dots and hang them up outside your door or in your windows for everyone to see. Why are we doing dots? To drive through the community and see all of the amazing dots displayed is truly a unique way to show that we are all in this together. But where to begin? Why at the beginning, of course, where Dot Day first started. We need to read the dot by Peter H. Reynolds. This book is about Vashti, who doesn't think she can draw. She is in for a big realization. Stick around after the book and we will discuss amazing ideas to create your art dots. This book will be read by a very special guest. Hey Eagles, it's Miss Brantley. Today we're reading The Dot by Peter Reynolds, published by Candlewood Press. It's a good one, hope you're ready. Here we go. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now, sign it. She's studying it, asking for a signature. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Ooh, so fancy. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. There she is. There's those watercolors. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow and she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Check that out. So there's her bigger dots. And then check out her dot without painting a dot. Good one. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's mini dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. <laughs> me? <laughs> no, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Here, just see what he made. That's what he made. And Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. And then she said, you ready for it? Please sign it. just like her teacher said to her. And that's the end. Oh God, that's so awesome. So cool what she could make with just a dot. Bye now. The hardest and first step to drawing is always that first mark. If you can make a mark on your paper, you can create art. Once we have our mark, we can add a dot or a line or a shape. Then we can start to improve on it. We can start to see what else might be added to make it even better, just like Vashti. Remember, her dots began to look incredible by the end of the book. She kept working and working and trying and trying and trying to improve, and she did. This is why our Dot Day project is very important. We want to work hard and improve just like Vashti. 
We want to encourage and bring each other together through our art. On September 15th, or whenever you're done making those dots, hang them up outside your door or in your windows so that everybody driving by can see them and feel good. I know that when I get to see your amazing art, it makes me feel amazing too. There is also a neighborhood scavenger hunt where people can predict how many dots they are going to see around the neighborhood. Look for the link in the description. And now for ideas on how exactly you're going to create these dots, keep watching. Start with a white piece of paper. Fold it into fourths if you want to make four little dots. Now I just need to trace four circles. Of course, if you're making one big dot, you just need to find a really big circle to trace. I am using a red marker on my first circle. You can use any color and any tools to add your color to your dots. I'm adding a squiggly line because I know that I want this to look like a donut. Donuts are round. So this will definitely work as a dot for dot day. I want this circle to be different. So I'm using blue and I'm creating rings. I'm filling my rings with patterns. You can do simple patterns like I'm doing or get more complicated like a zentangle. Make sure you color your circles in all the way. I like how it looks when I put a crayon on top of a marker. You can also press harder to make your color look darker. I'm doing a swirl here. I'm shading in my marker with a colored pencil. But I think it fades out too much, so I'm gonna add this orange and make it kind of spiky. I love how that looks. My green circle, I want to look kind of like a fruit. So I'm gonna make these curved triangle shapes. Now I'll just use a dark and a light green to color it in. Remember, you don't have to make yours like mine. Yours should be unique and they should look like you. Now you can cut them out. Don't forget, you are going to hang these circles on your door so that everybody in the neighborhood can see them. But don't hang them up until September 15th. I can't wait to see them! Bye!